Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This week, we're going to look at Yuzu on the AYN Odin 2. Now, for the Odin 2, I'll be creating a range of videos, and each will be individually different, mostly because I think a single video covering all the best emulators will be far too long. And secondly, because you might just be interested in one single emulator, or are having issues with that single emulator. But first, I'll break the video down into why I think the AYN Odin 2 in general is the best handheld for high-end emulation in 2023 and beyond. And then we'll go over how to install and set up some emulation. And as I said before, in this video, we'll be covering Yuzu. And to begin, why do I think the Odin 2 is the best handheld for current emulation? Well, mostly it's because the Odin 2, in my case, the Pro model with 12GB of RAM, is it's just such a powerhouse. Quickly talking about the form factor of the Odin 2, all I can say is it's pretty close to perfect. Uh, as you'll have learned from my last Odin 2 video, link in the description, the only thing I didn't love about it was the thumbsticks, which I felt were a bit too small, but the feel of them was actually okay. For that reason, as you see here, I fitted some covers, and for me that gives that a little extra bit of feel that I felt the sticks were lacking. The combination of decent ergonomics and the included AYN button mapping software means no more horrible on-screen controls that you would get if you played this game on a mobile device. I'll always show you for each emulator how I set up the controls and hide or remove the on-screen controls at the end. So back to performance, thanks to Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, the performance barely breaks a sweat, even when you're running Switch emulation at usable speeds. And that's pretty much all of the time. But there are a few caveats. So far, I've found that some games run fine on my PC, and they might not run properly on the Android version I use it, and initially I've put that down to the emulator. But I've since realised that some of this is down to the Adreno drivers, and that's something I'll help you with later in this video. Now over to installation. First you need to go to the Play Store, or any other third party store of choice I guess, but I'll be sticking with the Play Store. You need to search for Yuzu, and there you should see two results from Team Yuzu. The first being Yuzu Emulator, and the second being Yuzu Emulator Early Access. And you can tell them apart by their icons quite easily. The blue-red one is the main free version that I will be testing today. And if you want to support the devs, you can buy the Early Access version, which costs around $5. This is the gold and grey icon. Now I've tried both, and in my experience, the performance is kind of similar for either. I'll however suggest supporting the dev, as it's a worthy cause, and if you can afford it, why not consider it? But, before you install the app, I first suggest you create a folder somewhere on your Odin 2. Now I just created my folders inside the downloads folder on my Odin 2. Now that's for ease of locating of the folder. And I also used an app called CX File Explorer, on my Odin 2, which allows you to set up your Odin 2 as a little FTP location, and then I used FileZilla on my PC to connect to it. This means all the folder creation and file copying can be done from the comfort of your PC, so I think it's worth looking into, especially if you're used to using FTP in the past. Makes your life just a little bit easier. Now in my folder of choice, I created three additional folders. One which I called Switch Files, another Switch Game Updates, and my final one was Switch ROMs. So now I have a place for games, for updates and for other important files. In the Switch Files folder, you'll need to copy your prod keys file from your unlocked Switch. Or you can download it. I won't make any suggestions where you can find these, I'll just say let conscience be your guide. So back to the installation of Yuzu. Once you've downloaded the app, click open, and then you'll be presented with a get started prompt. So click that and your next prompt will be to grant permissions to Yuzu so that you can access permissions. So click through that. On the next screen, you'll need to locate your prodkeys file. In my case, I've put it in the Switch Files folder. Next up, you need to locate your games. So I click back to the ROMs folder that I created earlier and use this folder. You'll need to allow user to access this folder. Again, I won't go into specifics of how you rip your own ROMs or download any. Google will need to be your friend here. And that's you done, in the basic sense. Click Continue, and your Switch games will appear on the next screen. We still need to set up our controls at the very least and there are some tweaks you can perform and other nifty updates available to improve game compatibility. So the easiest way to set up your controls is to fire up a game, and you'll be presented with on-screen controls. Now it's time to set up your button mapping via the Odin. Now, if you swipe from the left, you'll get the Yuzu menu, and if you click into the overlay option, you can edit the overlay, which allows you to move the virtual buttons around, or adjust the overlay, which lets you scale the size of the buttons, or adjust the opacity of the icons. Now we'll come back to that later. So next, swipe from the right of the screen to reveal the Odin 2 menu and click on the blue key adapter icon. From here, you can drag the dot button icon and the thumbstick icons. So drag the buttons 
where they correspond with the on-screen buttons and then press the button on your Odin that you wish to map to that input. Once complete, click the blue tick button and the Odin 2 will save your button map for Yuzu. Now give your controls a test. Once you're happy they're all working, we can then look at removing the on-screen buttons. So swipe again from the left, click on overlay options and adjust the overlay and then reduce the opacity to zero. And the buttons are gone, but the mappings remain. Now, as you can see, my game isn't working. So let's look at some tweaks. Swipe right and exit emulation. Click the cog for settings and then click into advanced settings. I didn't make any changes in the general tab, but in the system menu, you can toggle on docked mode if you want to increase the resolution. Basically, it's equivalent of putting your switch in the dock to run it on your TV. In graphics, I've been leaving the resolution at 1x, but if you're running docked mode, it'll be 1080p, and if not, it'll be 720p. I found battery life to be great if you leave it in 720p, and it still looks great. Other settings in graphics, well, I've just left these, as I've not seen any noticeable improvements in any of my games of choice. In the debug menu, you can click on the API, but unlike on your PC version of Yuzu, you'll probably just see Vulcan or none, like I'm seeing here. Now, if you pick none, you'll just get a blank screen, so just leave that set to Vulcan. So how do I fix my game so it now shows properly? What you need to do is go to the GPU driver manager. From here, you'll see there's only one option, system GPU driver. But there's an option to install at the bottom here. When you click on that, you need to point at the new driver. So in the description below, I've included a link to the GitHub of K11MCH1, who has hosted a whole heap of GPU drivers that you can download. Brilliant work, I have to say. So far, I'm using the latest Turnip V24.0.0 revision X, and I've also downloaded a slightly older version, V23.2.0, and finally the Qualcomm driver V676.42. As earlier with the prod keys file, it's worth downloading these files on your PC and using FTP to copy them over to your Switch files folder. Leave them in the zipped format. So click install and pick your driver, and boom, there it is. You can now quickly switch drivers depending on your game's needs. So if we leave it on the Adreno one, we can now see that the game should load properly. But before we finish, one thing I've not mentioned is how to install game updates and content. To do this, you need to put the game updates in your Switch game updates folder using the FTP process I mentioned earlier. Click on the cog icon, scroll down to manage user data, and then click on install game content, and click on the update you want to install, and Yuzu will take care of the rest. So there you have it. You've downloaded, installed and set up Yuzu on your Odin 2. This has been one of my longer videos, but I hope it's been informative and helped you with any issues you've had with Yuzu on your Odin 2. Now as ever, if you've enjoyed this video and want to support the channel, please consider hitting the like button, why not smash the subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss any videos like this in future. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.